Elizabeth, movie review. So I don't know if anyone remembers this movie. This was a movie about Queen Elizabeth starring Kate Blanchett. And it came out at the end of the 1990s. I believe it was 1997 or 1998. Uh, and then they waited 10 years, and then a sequel to it came out about 2007 called Elizabeth the Golden Age. I actually ended up tracking down this DVD and watching it because I saw a, uh, a preview, a, a teaser for Elizabeth the Golden Age, uh, which looked really cool. It, it looked like it had big epic ship battles, and I thought, okay, that looks really cool. So I went back to the video store and I rented the original Elizabeth, which I had never seen when it came out uh, back in the early 90s. Sorry, late 90s. Um, at the time I watched this, I really didn't know much of anything about Queen Elizabeth. I have since then uh, rectified that by reading a few books uh, about British history uh, and, you know, picking up stuff here and there on podcasts and stuff like that. But at, at the time I watched this movie, I didn't know anything. And I'm watching this movie and I'm thinking, oh wow, this is really interesting. Oh wow, I didn't know this. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Uh, and the movie was kind of... There wasn't a lot of action, you know, it was just kind of courtroom drama, like people talking around in courtrooms, plotting this and that. But uh, I, I was really hooked on all these historical conspiracies that took place in the reign of Queen Elizabeth. And I, I thought, isn't this so cool that I'm learning all this stuff from this movie? And then I went on to Wikipedia and I read up on the historical accuracy of this movie and it turns out this is pretty much complete fiction. Uh, so, the, I mean, the, the characters were real people, but that's about where it ends. Um, Queen, uh, in this movie, Queen Elizabeth is having a relationship with Sir Robert Dudley and then all of a sudden she discovers that he was actually married, much to her horror. But in reality, real history, Queen Elizabeth knew he was married because she had attended his wedding. Uh, to the best of our historical knowledge, Queen Elizabeth never had affairs with anybody. Uh, she was not sleeping around with Sir Robert Dudley. Sir Robert Dudley was not involved in a conspiracy against Queen Elizabeth, as is alleged in the movie. Uh, Sir Norfolk, who in the movie was executed for his part in the conspiracy, uh, was actually not executed for this cons conspiracy. He was executed for a different conspiracy much later. Uh, Queen Elizabeth was not so tolerant towards Catholics as this movie leads us to believe. Uh, and uh, she did torture and kill Catholic priests, uh, etc. I mean, basically, very little of this movie is of historical value. So after I learned that, I thought, oh, great. Well, uh, what did I just waste my time with that movie for? Um, now, the, there is the argument that movies are not meant to be historical. Uh, you're, you're supposed to watch them for entertainment value, and if you want to learn history, you should read a book. Uh, I'm a bit of a history geek, so I prefer movies to be historically accurate, and I suspect, maybe I'm going out on a limb here, I suspect most people like historical accuracy in movies. People are lazy. Uh, people don't want to read a history book. Uh, they would much prefer to just watch a movie and get the history from the movie. So that, you know, people are all people are kind of lazy slobs in this way. But uh, when people watch a movie, they I think people would just assume that they get the accurate information from the movie. Unless you're doing something like Gladiator or Spartacus, where it's all these amazing action sequences. But if you know if you're doing a movie which is all just kind of people talking in the in in these courtroom drama scenes, then I, I think people would prefer it to be accurate. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, let me know if you feel differently. Um, now, in this day and age, it's incredibly easy to fact check a movie like this. Uh, when this movie came out in the late 90s, some of you who are older maybe will remember the late 90s, uh, it was much harder to fact check stuff. The internet was in its inf infancy back then. Quite possibly, if you searched around long enough, you might be able to find somebody's website 
uh, but th you know there was not a lot of uh, stuff on there uh, fact checking movies there was certainly nothing like Wikipedia at the time where you could just go directly to the Wikipedia page and fact check it which I think is maybe what they were counting on for a movie like this uh, when it came out in the late 90s uh, just thinking that okay nobody knows the history anyways we can just get away with this Nowadays, with Wikipedia, uh, it's much easier to fact check it. Although, um, I don't know. A again, am I being too hard on this movie? I tend to think that a movie like this, uh, I, I found it interesting when I thought it was all historical. And then when I found out later it wasn't historical, I'm like, well, that wasn't interesting at all then. That was a complete waste of time. But let me know if you felt differently. Uh, is this movie interesting even though it's not historically accurate? Uh, yeah, let me know.